Hello everyone, welcome back to our 3D Asymmetric Grad tutorial series. We are going to shade our modeled objects today. Let's start with the garage door. Click the garage door to select it. Go to the material tab. Create a new principled BSDF material. It's a very frequently used material in Blender. You can create very realistic material by adjusting only a few parameters. Rearrange our workspace. Set left hand side window to the render preview mode and the right side window to the shader editor. Let's set a metallic value to 0.9 and a roughness to 0.1. We can already see the very shiny metal material on the door. But the material is too shiny for the garage door. Let's create a noise texture node. Ctrl Shift click to preview its all cam. Set the scale value to 120 and increase the detail level to 15. Connect the noise texture node to the principled BSDF node and insert a color ram node in between and adjust the colors. Let's also take the noise texture output to a bomb node's high value and send the bomb node normal value output to the principled BSDF node normal value input. Decrease the bomb strength to 0.1. Now we have a very realistic metal material for the garage door. Next, we shade the door frame. We want to create this black and yellow hazard stripes brush the metal texture on the door frame. So we can copy the material from the door first, then make a copy and then rename it to door frame. Delete the noise texture node and create a wave texture node instead. We can see we have the stripes effect already on the door frame. Adjust the color in the color ramp node. Click the wave texture node and press Ctrl T to bring up the mapping node. Then set the Y rotation value to 45 degree. Also, we can change the interpolation value in the color ramp node from linear to constant to get rid of the blurred transition in between the stripes. Now we have the garage door and the garage door frame shaded. Click the wall object and create a new principled BSDF material for it. Adjust the wall paint color to white. Select the floor object, copy the material from the garage door, then make its own copy, adjust the color in the color ram node, then decrease the metallic value to 0.8 and increase the roughness value to 0.2. Basically what we want to do is make the floor material less metallic and more rough. Select the wall object, enter the edit mode and select the face where the garage door is. Then create a new material slot and pick the floor material from the list they are assigned to this face. Adjust the color in the color ram node. Did you notice why adjusting the color? The material for the floor and the material for this wall are both affected. That's because they are sharing the same material. For another wall, we are going to make a brick wall by using the Blender's out of box brick texture node. Select the wall object again, enter the edit mode, select the face of the wall, press P to make a separated object, create a new principled BSDF material for it, create a brick texture node, click it, and press Ctrl T to bring up the mapping node 
and the texture coordinator node. Connect the brake texture node to the principal BSDF node. Connect the object value from the texture coordinate node to the mapping node's vector value. Then, set both X and Y rotation value to 90 degree in mapping node. Now we can see the brick texture showing on the wall. Adjust the color 1 and the color 2 to make two different color bricks on the wall. Set the material roughness value to 0 0.8. Create a bomb node. Connect the fan value from the brick texture node to the high value in the bomb node. Then, connect the bomb node normal value output to the principal BSDF node's normal value input. Adjust the bomb strength value to 2 to make the gap between bricks more obvious. Now, we have created a procedural brick wall material by the Blender's out of box brick texture node. Next, let's shade the wall electric box and the electric wire conduit. The garage door material looks pretty good already for these boxes, so we can just copy the material. For the wire conduit, we are going to make a more glossy metal material. Select the object, create a new principle to BSDF material, set the metallic value to 0.95 and the roughness value to 0.05. For the storage shelf, copy the material from the garage door first, then make its own copy. Adjust the color in the color ram node to make a darker color metal material for the shelf. Now let's shade the toolbox. Copy the material from the garage door again. Then, make its own copy for the toolbox. Like we've mentioned before, we are going to use this material as a base material for many other objects. We want to make a red color toolbox. Adjust the color in the color ramp node. Then, bring the toolbox closer. It appears the noise texture scale value is too low for the toolbox. Let's increase the scale value to 500. Enter edit mode. Select the handle parts on the drawers. Create a new material slot. And select the gloss metal material from the list. Assign the material to the faces. Looks pretty good already. For the wrenches. Let's copy the material from the garage door again. Make it its own copy. Since the wrench's material should be more smooth than the garage door material, let's increase the noise texture scale value to 1000. Apply the changes to all wrenches. For the wall line mesh color, we want to make them dark metal material, so we can copy the material from the floor. Now, let's shade the plastic container boxes. Since the plastic material normally quite smooth and reflective, let's set a metallic value to 0, roughness value to 0 0.2, and set the specular value to 0 0.8. Apply the material to all container boxes. For the container lid, we want to use the same material setting but with different color. Let's start with copying the material from the container box, create its own copy, then adjust the color in the color RAM node. Repeat the steps to make other leads in another different color.
for the oil barrels. Let's copy the material from the floor. Now, let's shade the couch. For the couch, we want to make the material brown color leather. So let's set the roughness to 0.2, specular to 0.8, curl roughness to 0.2, and the shade roughness value to 0.2 as well. Now, let's adjust the color to make it brown. It looks too smooth and reflective. Let's increase the roughness value to 0.5. It looks much better now. So let's select other parts of the couch and copy the material. Now the traffic current. Let's make a metal material traffic curve. Copy the material from the garage door. Create a new material slot. Pick the same material from the list. Then create a new copy. Adjust the color to red. Then apply this material to those faces. Next, we shade the floor flat light. For the frame, we can copy the material from the yellow color container lid. And for the grid part, let's copy the material from the container. As for the light itself, let's also copy the material from the container. Let's stop here for the first part of the shading tutorial. In the next video, we will keep shading the rest of the objects. Stay tuned. See you in the next video.